the least attractive cars for sale in 2018 inches. We're going to preface this roundup of unattractiveness with the notion that matters of style are subjective. Having already applied our collective critical eye to the most attractive cars for $40,000, our attention now turns to those cars that aren't being bombarded with modeling contracts. Afflicted by poor proportions, awkward detailing, or a combination of both, these are the 10 least pretty new cars you can buy in 2018. Click through to see them all. BMW 6 Series Gran Turismo In our instrumented test of the 6 Series GT, which takes over for the truly ungainly 5 Series GT and BMW's lineup, we describe the vehicle thusly. It's not pretty, but it has a robust presence that isn't SUV-ish or wagon white. Ugliness is in the eye of the beholder, but the 06ers proportions shade those of the 5 Series GT. The silver lining behind its humpbacked appearance is the 6 Series GT's tall ride height and nicely maximized utility, cargo room and rear seat space. Alexander Staklosa. Fiat 500 liters. The 500 liters has few redeeming qualities, and its styling might be the worst offense. Bloated and bulbous. The wagonized city car looks like a 500 dealing with the same allergic reaction Will Smith had in Hitch. Fiat attempted to capitalize on crossover trends with attributes such as fake skid plates, stacked lighting, and a floating roof, but there's zero flow to the shape of the vehicle, and the proportions give us heartburn. The Mini Countryman is a better example of how to properly inflate an icon. Tony Markovich. Ford Fiesta Sedan. HTTPS colon slash slash hips. Hearst taps. Com slash HMG prod slash images slash 418 Fiesta Sedan 1 billion 526 million 311 thousand 740. JPG. We're still mourning the impending demise of almost every car sold by the Ford Motor Company with one exception, the Fiesta sedan. Although there's no denying the Fiesta's dynamic competence, the sedan's styling is decidedly inept. While the Fiesta hatch is handsome. The sedan's tacton-looking trunk gives the subcompact Ford an undeniably awkward shape. Greg Fink. Honda Civic Hatchback, Type R. It can be difficult to wrap one's mind around the notion that the streamlined Accord sedan and the overlined Civic lineup are built by the same automaker. Among the riotously styled Civics, the sedan and the coupe aren't nearly as crisscrossed by creases and blistered with protrusions as the hatchback. The 306 horsepower Type R variant is downright overcooked, with even more adornment in the form of spoilers and flaps and such. Pretty the Civic ain't. But there is no ugliness in their sweet chassis hence the sport hatchback, Type R, 
and C Coupe and Sedan made our 2018 10 Best Cars list. Alexander Staklosa Mercedes-Benz CLA Class Translating Mercedes-Benz's flowing design language to a compact sedan proved challenging. Go figure. There simply isn't enough real estate on the stubby, front-wheel drive CLA on which to smash the handsome, full-size S-Class sedan styling elements. Benz clearly tried anyway, resulting in the CLA's embryonic resemblance to larger Mercedes models. Mitsubishi Mirage G4 The subcompact Mirage G4 sedan melds the plain looks of the Mirage hatchback with a rather dumpy sedan profile. While the finished product's packaging does wonders for rear seat room and cargo space, it results in an exterior design that only a Mitsubishi employee could love. Rubbing salt in the Mirage G4's design wounds are its tiny wheels, which look even smaller next to its slab-sided body. Nissan vs Sedan The Versa sedan styling appears to have been cribbed from a preschool drawing class. Tall and narrow, it has an awkwardness that's emphasized by a long rear overhang, oversize headlights, flat sides, and tacky taillights. The generally attractive Versa Note hatchback shares not a single exterior piece with its homely three-box sibling. So we can't even blame the tacton trunk affliction that plagues the Ford Fiesta and Mitsubishi Mirage sedans. Tesla Model 3 A smattering of Tesla styling cues do not a pretty car make. Sure. The Model 3's headlights and taillights and the shape of its side window openings vaguely resemble those of the unassailably attractive Model S. Too bad they're applied to a tall, bulbously shaped body caught somewhere between a car and a crossover. In lieu of a grille, the faceless front end features a grille-shaped scallop in its bumper that resembles a large dent. But hey, it offers a less expensive entrance to the Tesla mystique. Toyota Prius, Prius Prime Through four generations, the Prius has stood out visually as another in the automotive landscape. The signature look has served Toyota well for two decades, turning the Prius into a sort of visual synonym for hybrid. For this latest Prius as well as its slightly different looking prime plug-in variant not pictured here Toyota hopscotched right past charmingly offbeat and right into the bizarre. The exterior lighting at both ends reads like gashes in the bodywork, and few, if any, of the creases and shapes stamped into its flanks seem to line up coherently. You won't mistake it for anything else, which would seem to be the point. Toyota Yaris Sedan Don't get us wrong, the Yaris sedan, formerly known as the Ia, is a good car, thanks to its Mazda 2 bones. 
it drives well, gets decent fuel mileage, and offers a stick shift. Approaching from the rear, it could even trick onlookers into thinking it's attractive. But closer examination reveals that those swooping body lines lead right into an angry grimy fish mouth. Contrasted against the body paint, the gaping black tout grill looks like a combination of a failed duck face and a child forcing a smile at a parent's command. With its angry headlights and nose slits, the car's face about as intimidating as prison Mike from the office unfortunately dominates the entire look of an otherwise solid design.